So, back again. This is actually um, part two of this great box on createboard.com, uh, extracting emails from directories. Again, uh, casual videos. Um, this one's not scripted, just kind of going along and uh, talking about what I see. So, um, just in the first part, we talked about if we were going to go to yell.com and uh, search for cakes in London, and we'd see all these pages and it have these uh, websites on them and all the different pages and we talked about how to generate um, all these different pages URLs and then use the link extractor to pull um, all these links like this out. Now another thing you can do which is uh, pretty handy uh, is go to like Google or Yahoo or wherever. Um, Yahoo a lot of times is going to yield more results on a site operator kind of thing um, but you know, for instance, we'll use Google. So let's go site, and we'll put yell.com. Now, the site operator, if you don't know what it is, you should probably check it out, but it does a lot of things. One, you can use if you type in a full website here or like this, see how it's auto-loading stuff? It's pulling in all the internal pages from yell.com up to the 1,000 limit. Um, I can also add search terms on the end of this to localize the search and search specifically for what I want inside of yell.com because obviously it's huge. Yell.com, this whole list of pages isn't going to do me a whole lot of good unless I just want a ton of random emails. But if I want to target my emails to people that sell cakes in London, I can do that number. And then um, it's actually going to pull up um, pages here. So let's just uh, these are map pages wedding cakes and favors so click on that and uh, see where it takes us takes us into 100 results uh, and it actually changed it to Paddington West London for us there and wedding cakes and favors um, some more more URLs there direct link so what you could do with these is um, we could do this search here in uh, Scrapebox and it's going to give us all these pages inside of yell.com and so rather than having to go and search through each page in yell.com and generate the numbers up top like we did before where we went to like page two and all that sort of stuff we can just use google's results which has already sorted through all these pages and um just pull straight from these if that makes sense so Google already is giving us a direct link to all these pages that that have these on them so we're just gonna go back over here into Scrapebox clear out all of this that we were working in the last video pop this in the keyword here and um, again we can put the site part up here or um, I can just type it out site yell.com cakes in London pull Google and um, you know pull in a thousand results sure um, and so what it's going to do is it's going to do the exact same search we just did and we don't need all thousand results we'll stop it there and then um, you know let's just open one up in an internal browser here to see what we have um, and see there's that same same kind of page where we have these links here and so then all we have to do is export these links and we'll just call this yell too and then I just go back into my link extractor add-on load them up boom all ready to go pick up external links start it up let it run through here and look through all these um, now bearing in mind that if we do it with Google and I'm just gonna abort here because we don't need a million links but um, if we do it through Google it's probably not gonna be as targeted because you saw where I typed in um, cakes in London and it brought up you know as one of the results in uh, West Paddington in Paddington rather West London and um, that might not be exactly what you were looking for so if you want direct results you need to go to the directory say yell type it in and generate your page list from up here like we did in the first video if you're wanting more generalized results because this is still related wedding cakes and favors to Paddington West London then um, it's still related but it just may not be as directly targeted as you wanted then um, this is okay and so if we show extracted links here we can see that some of these are for um, actual yell but as we get down here then we can see um, all these websites here that were uh, websites that we extracted um, and then again we can go ahead and take these websites 
since they're home pages, and then go back to Scrapebox and um, pull all the internal pages for those websites. And then after we pull them, we can go to grab emails and pull emails from them. And so that's how uh, yell.com, for instance, works. You can use that same logic um, to pull all kinds of things. So if we go to Yahoo and look for, I think it's dir.yahoo.com, but we'll just go Yahoo directory and um, let's look for cakes. You see the same thing. Now, Yahoo does it all differently. They mask the links. They have them here. Um, but what they do, see how when I roll over Buttercup Cake Shop here, down here, it actually has a search.yahoo.com and this ridiculously long link. If I click that, it resolves to buttercupcakeshop.co.uk. So you actually get there, but um, the link is a, basically a, a redirect. Um, so if I load these links into the um, scrape box external link um, extractor and choose to extract external links is not going to give me anything because it's going to see this as a, a Yahoo internal link or or it'll actually just give me this link back um, it's not going to give me the end result so what I want to do is um, no I said that backwards I said for I meant for internal links um, if I load this up in the scrape box, let's just do it. So um, I'm going to take this URL up top here. Let's go to scrape box and extract all the um, I think I can put this here and go to the link extractor and import from scrape box. Bring it in. And then if I pull out the external links, what Scrapebox is going to do is, or internal links rather, should give me all of those Yahoo right here. We can see down here at the bottom, it's yahoo.com or search.yahoo.com forward slash R. So I'm going to go through here and these are these links right here. So it pulled in, once again, I loaded the wrong web browser here. Um, but these are the links. If I... Um, we can see it a little bit anyways. There's the Yahoo directory. Um, sorry, my default browser is Firefox and I'm using Internet Explorer and I keep clicking it. So you can kind of see, here it is. Same thing. So anyways, um, what I have to do to work with Yahoo is, first, I have to take my page like this, right here, then I have to load it into the, the external link extractor and I have to extract internal links because it's going to see all these pages through here as internal links and then I can turn around and take those and export them to file and we'll do Yahoo and then I can load those same URLs back up now and then do external links and what that's going to do is it's going to actually try when scrape box loads these pages to try to read the external link it'll go ahead and resolve the URLs for us and what we'll wind up with is when it when it tries to load this page right here or any of these it'll resolve the URL and it'll go to that website so we're actually going to wind up like at say omahaweddingcakegallery.com and then it's going to extract the external links off that page and when we see that that could be all kinds of stuff um, it could be a lot of links and I didn't let it finish but um, and it brought in whoop, quite a lot of uh, websites here so um, again this is partially I probably just said all that backwards but Anyways, you saw how I did here. I, I had to extract internal links from this Yahoo page to get these results and then turn around and extract external links to get the actual websites off of Yahoo, whereas we didn't have to do that with yell.com. So it's a little bit of experimenting, and then I can grab all these and extract, go back into my keywords in Scrapebox, pull a site 
colon operator for them all and then get the results and use the email grabber to grab emails from those as well. Now, some directories aren't going to work out for you, like Yelp.com, for instance. Um, when I go to Yelp, and uh, Phoenix, Arizona comes up for me, so let's do um, cakes again. And I pull in results. You see I've got all my results here. They don't link um, either. When I highlight over this, it's an internal link to an internal page about Barb's Bakery. And then when I get to Barb's Bakery, then it'll have an external link to her site. Gotta love that. Um, which is also a redirect. Um, so, what I would have to do is a bunch of stuff, but it's going to be a mute point for me because um, if you look here, when we go through all these pages, see how it's got a ton of pages? Watch in the middle of the screen for the little indicator that says it's loading. You see this loading thing? Usually that means it's a script um, and it's not loading the page directly. If you pull up these pages in the external link extractor, Scrapebox will not see any of this. It won't see any of this at all. It won't see any of this up here um, because it's all loaded by a script, maybe like Ajax for instance, which doesn't, the, it works for the end web browser, but when Scrapebox tries to load it, it just doesn't work just due to the way it's all made. And I didn't check on this website to see what script it's using, but I can tell you right off the bat. Um, and it doesn't mean just because it has a little loading thing here that it won't work, um, but I tested this one in Scrapebox. So if you, if you try extracting internal and external leaks and you don't get any, it just can't read it. Um, so like Yelp.com is just not going to be compatible. So basically you can play around with different directories and um, as you go through them you can investigate the formatting of the URLs up here and see how the numbers on the end. See this one's a 30 for page 3 um, and then page 4 is actually a 40. They don't use direct numbers so um, I'd have to know how this link structure works in order to either pull all these direct links from it or on Yelp. Uh, again, another way I could do it is going back to Google, um, and it's still not going to work because it's Yelp, but if I did the site um, Yelp.com and did Cakes in Phoenix, I would get those same results, Barb's Bakery. And then I, but it links me directly to that internal page of Barb's Bakery. So now I could have used Scrapebox to pull this Google search that we just did and get the results, and then I would have my direct pages and then I could just use the external link extractor or the internal link extractor respectively. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't, you probably should mess around with the, uh, the link extractor add-on um, and then get to know how this box and the merge function works. Um, and once you understand how those work and you investigate the particular URL that you're working with, and the structure, how it's structured up here, and how the internal pages, or whether it's an indirect link, redirect, or a direct link like uh, yell.com was, and then you can uh, custom tailor your search to drill down and uh, get those email addresses just like we did in the very first video that are highly targeted. And that's um, you know basically how you can do different directories, and you could use that method to apply to many different kinds of sites. Um, and uh, extract emails with uh, highly targeted uh, results.